talk about this game. Uh, this obviously, congrats to United Ten for half? making it to the FA Cup congrats. final again. I mean, they're in the congrats. FA Cup final. They're in the FA Cup final. Still got to give it to them. You know, they they still managed to pull. It out <laughs> I have somehow. no idea how they're there. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. How deserved or undeserved, that could be a question that we could talk about. But um, it's still, you know, it's out of a horrible, horrendous season. It's still somehow interesting how they managed to get made it to FA Cup final. And this is something I, I, I hate to repeat myself. But I did bring this up last year when they made it to FA Cup final and they won the Carabao Cup. <laughs> if they let's just say hypothetically they win this FA Cup against Man City, are we going to ignore all the problems that happened? Because Arsenal did that for like a decade. And we co- <laughs> we complained about it. And I said, yeah, Man United has literally become the old Arsenal. Like, we win FA Cups. We win, you know, trophies. And we kind of ignore no. the fact of all the bad things that's happened over the course of the year. And we just kind of brush it over because we wanted silverware. So I, no, I, I think everybody at Man United, like everybody at Man United, every, all, the, all Man United fans are in unison. Like, there's nobody defending huh? any of this. There, no, no, there no, is yes, people there is. defending Ten yes, there is. And there is people defending. So. No. Yeah, there is. There is what? What are they defending, though? I can name he, multiple he, he people. Won a trophy. I wish we brought them here. Yeah, exactly. No, no. What are what are they defending? Lee, there's going to be idiots that saying at stay. the end of the year that that Man United had a better season than Arsenal. Okay. No, that's that's foolish. Come that's on, foolish. there's a lot of idiots all over there, but like it's just no, the common foolish. norm. Like, brother, it's literally this is what we heard last year. You guys you know? are doing you guys are doing that victim thing again. Leave them. Leave your Arsenal. I didn't say alone. Yeah, no, I'm, just, Arsenal. I'm just saying what's said. We, 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 we had, did this last time. Brother, I just read out what I'm reading in the Discord, okay? I, we I talked have read that. I have read that. I think, uh, I think every United fan is just like, put me out of my misery. Like, we need the season to end already. Like, Ten Hag out. That was like, no, I didn't see anybody celebrate that. Even the only person that celebrated that win was, what's his name? That white boy. Mark Goldbridge? Yeah, he's oh, the only yeah. one I've seen celebrate. Everybody yeah. else was like, that nigga, that was shit. Yeah. That was yeah. Garbage. No, Definitely but, did not deserve to but, go through. But, but. While I do think Ten Hag is not a good coach, and I've been saying this, I've been skeptical of him from before he signed. But but what I will say is, Mo says it best. Everybody needs time. If you give somebody enough time, they're going to figure it out. Yeah. Are they going to give him enough time? Hmm. Probably not. Uh, But can he figure it out? But can he figure it out? I think he can. Given enough time with that much money, whatever, I think he'll figure it out. But the club will never be in unison. Like the way no. Arsenal's in unison, it'll never be like or City or any or or Liverpool like mm. big clubs, United <laughs> fan base and players. No pun intended. Mm. Yeah, Manchester United will never have that with Ten Hag as coach, and I think that's the breaking point. I don't even think it's necessarily the performance. If you know the coach is going to cause disharmony for for the near future, but, but, get him out of there. But again, I'm not. I'm not okay. I never played professional, but. You know, I see all these commentators saying like, "Oh, like they don't really, they don't even respect the manager. They don't talk da da da." Like, you can have a successful team and not respect the manager, though. Like, we played, we played for some niggas that we don't really, mm-hmm. respect that nigga, you know what I mean? Like, let's just play, you know what I mean? Our game, but I don't know. I think for Ten Hag, like, it's not even about time anymore. It's about like he just has to, he has to win one of three groups. He yeah. has to win either the board over, the fans over, or the players over. He just has to win one. I don't think he <laughs> has any. He's losing all three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't all think three. he has any. Because yeah, the board are looking, them, well, reportedly, yeah, yeah. like they are looking. And he just, he just needs guys, one. Because, yo, at United, if you have one of those, you good. Okay, but I'll, I'll tell you this, though, Lee. Uh, the one out of the three that you mentioned, I think he still has a good amount of fan base that are backing him. Because mm. they do, yeah, yeah. you know, they have seen... Because, what, yo, it's a, what is it, what's it saying? The, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know. Yeah, and we have to be... Also, we have to be fair to Ten Hag. Like, there's a, there's, <laughs> there's a lot that of... That ain't it, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I tried that saving, bro. Me. You, that you know, miss me, bro. I can't lie to you. <laughs> Lee, I tried saving you. But, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but it, uh, I even forgot my train of thought. But anyways... uh. I got us, I got us, I got us. Uh, Ten (laughs) Hag, I feel like he approached the job in a way that didn't align with his character. He Mm. tried to force things. He tried to... Too cool for school. Yeah, he he tried to, like, be too forceful with guys who are legends. Like, Ronaldo, okay, cool, but other players, too. You know, so... A lot of them. And even the guys who stuck with him from the beginning, I don't even think they love him. Rashford does not love him, does not love him. 
he's getting what he wants and it's still not really working for him. Like he's playing but yo, the position I, he wants. I, again, like the only player I could see who it's kind of in line with him. It's probably McGuire. No, it's the young guys. It's for the mo- for the most. It's the part, young the guys, young, bro. Yeah. It's, it's the, the young guys, the, bro. Yeah. And and you know what? Who cares? It's the young guys and Bruno. Well, I like fine. That's the only reason why I think a United fan would say, "Yo, give him time," because yeah. clearly you could see the young players trust him, listen to him. Yeah. To the captain. So. Yeah, but yeah. but the problem is it's a certain group of players, but it's not the majority. And uh, one thing I'll tell you guys from this game, one one thing that stood out for me, especially with the <laughs> defending, there was a whole lot of lazy players on the pitch, in my opinion. Oh, okay? okay, there was a whole lot of lazy forever. defending. There was a whole lot of lazy, mm. very lazy uh, ethics on that team. Because and again, <laughs> uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna have this guy group of guys defending you, playing for you, and the other group not, there's obviously gonna be. Uh, a problem here you need unity you need like one team fighting together and obviously it's not showing and you can kind of see it in their facial expressions a lot from a lot of the guys because i'll tell you like one misaka bro like all three goals like i thought all of those was all from straight up laziness exact laziness because i yeah. play defense unfortunately take for a long glo- time take right. I, I know what lazy defending is i don't know what lazy is no, no, but week, actually, like when you when you turn your when you turn your back in like that with defending it's just you're, you're you're trying to find a way out. You're just Arf, playing the Arf, minutes, you know. So it's the gloves. It's the gloves. Take them gloves off, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you got them gloves on. It's April. <laughs> it's April. Yeah, I don't know the weather there, but low key. Uh, I'm I mean, guys. I bucked him in an airport, bro. Weird guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. 